Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World and welcome to Welcome to a video where we're going to talk about the Pirate Llamas. We're also going to talk, yes, that is the Pirate Llama right there. We're also going to talk about the Adventure Tickets. Now, in this video, we're not going to talk about why they're called Adventure Tickets, why there's that graphic or anything like that about version 12. I'm going to be talking about that in a different video. This video is going to purely be talking about these Adventure Tickets, whether I think you should save them or not, what I think is going to be happening in the near future, and if we are going to see another llama very soon but first guys let me just say thank you for watching thank you for being here thank you for being awesome i really appreciate all your guys support thank you so much thank you for using my creator code right here this is my creator code thank you so much guys you guys are amazing i really really appreciate all you guys do thank you so much so let's start talking about this guys uh let's start by first talking about the most important thing, what I think you should do with your tickets right now. Now, right now we have these adventure tickets and these adventure tickets have been around. Um, and you guys know that they changed. We started with the lunar tickets and then they changed to the adventure tickets. Now these adventure tickets are connected and tied to the event shop because we are currently in this event. That is the event that we are currently on. Uh, and this event right here, we know is ending on June 19th because we know that Miss Bunny Penny is leaving on June 19th. So this event right here, unless they change it, unless they change it, this whole event right here will be leaving on June 19th. Now, that means that until then, until June 19th, we will be using the adventure tickets. And more than likely, we will be seeing other llamas coming as well. At least one more, I think. Normally, what happens is that these will last about, oh, the llamas will last about four weeks and so on. Right now, we're in the second week of, well, we just started our third week of being using the pirate llamas. So, or having the pirate llamas. So, more than likely, we'll have one or two more weeks where the pirate llamas will be around. Now, they have been pretty good lately. Epic Games has been pretty good about telling us when llamas are leaving just then saying hey uh, make sure to use them up because they're going to be leaving even though the llamas are leaving the tickets will stick around now what can be, ne be the next llama because of everything that's going on right now i gotta say i think they're going to be bringing back an previous llama it could be the blockbuster llama it could be the sci-fi llama it could be any llama out there the rad llama any of the llamas could possibly come back now there is a lot of really good llamas and and i do have my opinions about which llamas i hope will come back but to be honest right now i just all i can think of is there will be another llama coming probably in about two weeks or so and when that llama comes it will be using the adventure tickets so that is my recommendation my recommendation to you guys are asking should i save my tickets should i use my tickets well or i guess answering the first question how long will the tickets be around the tickets will be a lot around until june 19th until the end of this event now the next question is should you open pirate llamas and i'm going to tell you right now we're probably going to open a couple of pirate llamas in this video the reason for this is because and this is the answer to this question should you open pirate llamas or should you save your tickets it depends if you need any of the pirate items now let's go over to the collection book and take a look at what items are available right now we're going to start with the event people we're going to start with the uh blakebeard's crew okay so here at a blakebeard's crew you can get buccaneer jonesy privateer hype swashbuckler keyhaul and crossbone barrett you can get all four of these in their different variations right now from what i've heard it is not possible to get blakebeard or hybrid so blakebeard and hybrid are not possible to get now if you have gotten them and if you can show us, you know, like a screenshot or you can take a picture of you getting them from a llama, please do, because it would be very interesting to see that it is possible. If it is possible, I would think it would have a much, much, much smaller chance of getting them. But again, if you know and if you know someone or if you have heard of someone getting Blackbeard or hybrid out of them, then it would be good to know. But currently, it seems like these llamas are subject to that whole sense of, you know, uh, you can only get them from Blakebeard. You can only get it from the Yar event quest line, which again, I'm going to be talking about in, in, a, in a future video of all the things that are happening right now in Save the World, Blockbuster and everything, and what I think should have been coming 
what I think they should have brought back instead of Blockbuster. Uh, and Hybrid, well, Hybrid doesn't have anything. Hybrid doesn't have any information. So if I remember correctly, he was in the shop. So technically, maybe he should be in the llamas. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. And then in the event schematics can, uh, scene or in the event schematic area, we have uh, the steampunk weapons. Now, uh, sorry, sorry. The flintlock weapons. I just made the same mistake. Now, originally, a lot of us believed that the steampunk weapons were going to be available. And that is because there was an image that was released. There was a graphic that was released by Epic in the patch notes that led us all to believe that the steampunk weapons were going to be in the in the llamas. It, again, I'm going to be talking about that in the future. Apparently, it wasn't. Apparently, what happened was it was the it is the flintlock weapons, which totally makes sense. Flintlock goes with pirates. The duelist goes with the pirates. The corsair, Jack's Revenge, all of these go with pirate. The bowler very piratey so we have those uh now out of these you can get the duelist the dragoon old betsy the spyglass uh sir hootie fishing hook and the walloper apparently apparently people are telling me that the walloper some people have said that yes it is in the llamas and no it's not now by the rules of the game anything that has an epic version should be available in the llamas everything that has an epic version now unfortunately the bundle bus the bowler this one has it during the it can be bought from the item store during the yar event um what else the corsair and jack's revenge as well these are also during the yar, during the yar event quest line these are apparently not in the llamas now again if you have them if you've gotten the bundle bus the bowler the corsair or jack's revenge in one of the llamas please let us know let me know down below in the comments and if you have like a screenshot or a picture you took uh send it to me over on twitter and we can also i can make an updated video in the future showing everything that we know for sure we can get now for me personally yes i do have multiple bundle buses because I got more from the previous, um, I think I got them in the birthday event, I think. Uh, but if you guys can see the spyglass here, I need an epic spyglass. I need an epic walloper. So I do need a couple of items. I need an epic walloper and an epic spyglass. So right now, I'm going to open a couple of these llamas. Now, again, my recommendation to you is if you are missing anything from the current llamas, okay if you're uh, sorry anything from the current pirate event if you're missing any of those items that we just showed you that i just showed you then yes i recommend you know opening a few of these llamas if you don't need anything save your tickets save your tickets and also let me just say the best way to get uh tickets right now the absolute best way to get tickets right now is dungeons i am actually very very grateful <laughs> i'm actually very grateful that the pirate that the dungeons are back because if dungeons weren't back right now you guys probably wouldn't see me play that much hey we okay so we got the epic spyglass that was one we needed right i think that was one we needed let's go take a look uh event schematics uh flintlock weapons and spyglass yes right there we got it all right let's slot it in there actually no i'm not going to slot it yet we're going we need to make a video slotting stuff all right so now all we need is the epic walloper let's go back and let's see if we get the epic walloper yar, yar. <laughs> ocean face crime so yeah so definitely guys as you guys saw i had over twenty-one thousand tickets and all of those tickets I got from doing dungeons. And I, I'm loving dungeons, guys. I love dungeons because even if you don't get... Oh, a legendary. Okay, we got a kill haw. All right. That's our second one. We're going to open a couple more. We're going to open a couple more and see what happens. We got a kill haw. That's not bad. Um, even though, even if, though, you know, right now, like with dungeons, even if you don't complete the dungeon, you still get a reward. So if you spend 20, 30, 40 minutes trying to do a mission... You're still going to get golden tickets and, uh, oh, a dragoon. I thought for a second it was going to be that one, the walloper. Even though you, you spend a considerable amount of time in there, and you guys know how it is. In other missions, you'll spend a bunch of time trying to do a mission, and you fail it, and what do you get? One gold. <laughs> You get a single gold. You don't get anything for the time invested. So personally for me, that is a reason why I really, really, really like dungeons, guys. I love dungeons because you can get a lot of you, the time that you put into it. That was interesting. 
I, I, I saw that vacuum. Okay, I was like, what is it? Okay, so we got a sore hoodie. All right. Um, let's do one more. Let's do one more. This is going to be our fifth llama. We're just going to open five in this video. Um, can you talk the plank? I'm just going to open. I'm just going to open five right now. <laughs> llama of flute. Uh, I'm just opening five right now just to see what I get. Um, I Maybe the Walloper isn't available, but the Walloper has an epic version. So technically the Walloper should be in there. I don't know. Maybe the Walloper is not part of it. So I did get my Spyglass. We did get the Spyglass. We got what we wanted there. Uh, the only other weapon that I'm missing right now is going to be the Walloper. And the Walloper says, it just says, not available to research. So all I'm missing is an epic Walloper. Um, maybe it's just really hard. I don't know. If you've gotten it, let me know. But that's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you guys currently in the Llamas, the Pirate Llamas. And I wanted to talk about the current adventure tickets. Like I said, the Pirate Llama will more than likely be here about two more weeks. Actually, now that they've extended everything, I wouldn't be surprised if it's here another four or six weeks. So we will probably have to put up with the Pirate Llama for a while. If you don't need anything from the Pirate Llama, just save your tickets. But, but this is something else. Because we currently have dungeons and you can grind a considerable amount of tickets during dungeons. Well, there's one other option you can do. If you need the training manuals and if you need those manuals, you could just grind a lot of tickets, open Pirate Llamas and then recycle and retire everything that you get. You're going to get uh, manuals from that. It's a good way of just grinding them out. And I know that there's some people out there with way more tickets than me. They've been doing it a lot more. I only do like a handful of dungeons, maybe a day. I want to kind of just do a long, you know, a long stream one day, like maybe like an eight or 10 hour stream and just do dungeons over and over and over again and see what we can get because I love dungeons. I really do. I love the fact that you don't have to use any materials to do it too. You get all that reward for no no materials invested, just time. That's pretty good. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for thanks a lot for being here, guys. I really appreciate it. Again, thank you so much to everyone using my creator code. You guys are fantastic. Thank you so much. You guys know that helps me financially. Thank you so very much. Of course, hashtag epic partner. My my creator code right there is just DUJ2 in the middle. DUJ2. That's all you gotta do. Uh, and if you wanna see it, all you gotta do is come over here. You go to support a creator, you type in DUJ2 right there, hit accept, and that's all you gotta do. And don't forget, it recycles every couple of weeks. And also, if you don't wanna, uh, if, if you'd rather support someone else, guys, or if you're not supporting anyone, please consider supporting someone. Um, your favorite content creator, just ask them. Ask them and say, hey, do you have a creator code? Chances are they are. They do have one, and it helps us out so very much. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks a lot for watching, guys. See ya.